Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to Nowy's Dive Team Report. I am your host, Greg Martin. You know, this week we continue our conversation with uh, local dive shops around the country, discussing what makes those dive shops click and keep going even through the rough economic times. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we had an extremely rough winter, which kind of put the kibosh on a lot of dive operations. Wanted to get down into some Sunshine State talk a little bit about what happens on Gulf Coast and that kind of thing. We're going to travel right now via the magic of the Internet to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Mark Smith's Underwater Adventures. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for calling. Absolutely. What makes an operation keep clicking? Uh, You know, obviously you're close to water, so that helps. It, It does help. We have some of the best diving right here in the Gulf Coast, on the oil oil rigs off the coast of Louisiana uh, with just variation of depth and and, and diversity of marine life. Um, Plus, we're able to access a bunch of freshwater places from us as well as the Caribbean. And we go to Panama City, Florida, and the the Panhandle quite frequently with our uh, students as well as uh, open water divers. So dive operations, how long have you been up and running? I've been up and running, uh, coming up this year on 27 years. Well, congratulations. That's, uh, that speaks uh, highly of, uh, of your operation, your leadership, I'm sure. We've been a strong NAWI uh, affiliate uh, since day one, since 1990 when we first started. I've actually been uh, a NAWI instructor since 1979. So I'm going on a, a few years myself teaching. Well, congratulations with that, too. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure dive shops have changed some in the last uh, number of years. Talk about some of the things that you've seen that are not the same, maybe, or different or better or worse. I don't know. You know, we've been so fortunate to have such a strong clientele coming in and teaching the the parents to dive and grandparents and and now teaching the kids of the kids. Uh, Doing this almost 40 years you run through the the family tree, and uh, we're fortunate that they trust us. There's no greater trust than trusting somebody to teach your uh, loved ones to dive. So they keep trusting us, and and that keeps our doors open. And we try to stay in contact by calling them every month uh, or every year when their birthday comes around. Uh, Call them when we have specials, having travel, uh, local trips, and definitely con ed keeping the doors open for continued education uh, is the key. That's an interesting thought of picking the phone up. A lot of dive shops just don't do that. They'll send out an email blast perhaps, but as far as that personal touch, uh, that's one of the first times I've actually heard that. Well, it's really helped us a lot. I have people that comment and say, you didn't call me last year. It might have fallen on a Sunday when I wasn't working (laughs) or I was on a trip. And then the next year I call, they go, I'm so glad you called me. You're always the first one to call me before the parents. And it reminds them that they need to come in and get a regulator service. They need to come in and get on a trip. They need somebody else mentioned diving uh, recently, and and they need to refresh the the memory for them. And it refreshes their memory as well. Let's talk a little bit about what it takes to keep a dive shop going. Uh, we're, we're discussing that in, in the realm of reaching out and making that personal touch, but there are so many other avenues. Uh, marketing is something that I, I don't know that a lot of dive shops really know the, the essentials of marketing, things like word of mouth, uh, things like websites, sh- social media. Those are relatively new aspects, too. Uh, how do you utilize those things? <clears throat> You know, it's funny you should say that. We've, we've, we've gone so much to water down our classes by having everybody do everything online, and we're finding it's, it's so impersonal, and people are wanting to sit in our lectures. They're wanting to get one-on-one with us in uh, communication about diving and dive tables. We do a barbecue here when we teach our class on Sunday. We cook for everybody. We take care of... Uh, uh, the meal, and, and, and then we go on the open water dive, and a lot of times we're, we're cooking on the, on the open water dive. So we make it a group activity. We make it a organized event that everybody's involved in, and it's, and it's so much more personal than what we have on the Internet. But there again, the Internet, the social media, we've been hitting those with Facebook and, and, 
and advertisement on several different websites. Uh, and that's helped us a little bit for some of our international travel and reaching out to people that aren't from our local area. Um, but word of mouth, too. We, we survey everybody that comes in, and on our questionnaire, they 99% of the time put, it's word of mouth, a friend told me about you. You know, Occasionally the Business Bureau does get kicked in, and we get great reviews on Business the Bureau with having our uh, our rating and all. That That is one of the keys also, people getting out there and talking about us, how good we are. Not us tooting our own horn. It's always better when somebody else does it. Do you do any kind of conventional outside advertising? We do. We do a little bit. Uh, we used to do the phone book. We don't do the phone book hardly at all. Now it, it may be on Yelp or, or one of the social media uh, areas that one of my uh, employees handles a little bit more for me. But we have our own website, too, and that's a biggie. We, we try to sign everybody up with an email newsletter that we send them out a newsletter monthly, uh, and they get a copy of what we're doing or where we're going, and that t- seems to, to help as well. I want to jump over just a second, Mark, and talk about equipment. Uh, equipment is something that changes from uh, locale to locale. I think it has an awful lot to do with the uh, the sales reps that come through and, and how perceptions are with local dive shops. Talk a little bit about competing with the equipment market, Internet, that kind of thing. How does that work for you? You know, that that's one of the key things that we have to be diligent about, asking our customers, and I do it all the time, ask them to purchase from us. Do a comparison of apples to apples. In other words, compare our price to what you can get it on the Internet. We offer a service that they don't. We offer an exchange on hand at, at site without shipping it off. They don't. They've got to ship stuff off when they order the wrong size or the wrong color or it's not what they expected. Or it doesn't work when they get it. They have issues to deal with, whereas they can walk in and we exchange it over the counter. Um, We do a lot of mass fin snorkel sales, basic equipment sales. Your hard goods are a little bit harder to sell, but people are buying. And and if they're going to do continuing education, they're going to buy. If they're going to go on a trip, they're going to buy. So you want to press them to continue their education, not just get the basics of ABC. We actually do our classes where we make them make seven open water dives opposed to four that most organizations and, and instructors ask their students to do. We have our students do seven, and they love it. They're comfortable when they finish with us after a weekend. And they come back for more classes because of that comfort instead of being a little nervous about it and scared to go by themselves. Interesting thought. Let me ask you how you feel that being a NAWI shop as opposed to one of the other organizations works for your benefit. It works so much better with the support that NAWI's given us over the years with the diversification of how an instructor can teach. Uh, and we can teach in our area that's more conducive to teaching in our area. Um, adding more to our classes when students are able to to take it and and not just have the muscle memory. We're able to develop the ability to remember and do because they get more pool time, they get more water time. And now he has offered that to us uh, for that freedom of education, and we're able to to make it work so much better for us. Um, And with the support they give us with the new Um, Nitrox Online uh, with the Continuing Education, the FIT program. Uh, It just works so much better for our dive masters and instructors that we're teaching uh, to become instructors and and, and teach our loved ones to dive. About how many students do you do a year? We do anywhere from 150 to 300 students a year, and that's open water all the way through uh, instructor level. We do several instructors, dive master, leadership program, as well as master, rescue, and uh, advance uh, above our open water classes. And in looking at your uh, website, kind of looking down through your your staff, I mean, you appear to have a fairly good, strong support staff of uh, dive masters and instructors. I could not do it without them. As much as I want to take all the credit, 
uh, as much as I'd give now all the credit, it's not. It's our dive masters. It's our people that are interested in, 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 in taking the continued ed classes. But there again, my staff of instructors are all now instructors. They're all now dive masters. And they teach just like their instructors. We teach them to a higher standard. They're outstanding. They all deserve the outstanding service award that now he has given to me and, and, and other instructors uh, from Underwater Adventures because I couldn't do it without them. Good words. We uh, wish you the best of luck uh, moving forward, too, in uh, your, I guess, coming up on 30 years. We believe in safety, comfort, and fun. If a person gets comfortable, they're going to put uh, safety first, and if they do, they're going to have fun doing it, and that's our motto. Nice, nice. Well, we wish you all the uh, all the best and uh, continued success. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for, for, for having us on here today. Appreciate it. All right. And if you love the podcast, please subscribe to iTunes or Google Play. Don't miss a single episode. Love to hear your comments, too. You can email me at podcast at nowie.org. And that's this episode of Nowie's Dive Team Report. I'm Greg Martin. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you underwater. Thank you.